and slick roads remain in some parts of Worcester even two days after the storm. The city's DPW says there is less salt on side streets, so the snow and ice will take longer to melt. The city's public schools had a two hour delay along with some additional weather related issues on Tuesday. Our Chandler Walsh joins us live now with the details. Chandler. Olivia, Worcester Public Schools students enjoyed a long holiday weekend made longer by today's delay. For some, school was delayed even further from late buses. We're here at the district's bus contractor, Durham School Services, and they say it was due to messy roads. Side streets are coated in snow and ice in some areas in Worcester. DPW Commissioner Paul Moosey says it takes longer for the snow to melt here because of the way the city treats the roads. The main lines get the most salt. They're the ones that we want to get to bare pavement the soonest. The side streets, you know, they're sanded well, but there's not a lot of salt, so the melting takes a little longer. The freezing temperatures caused a two hour delay at Worcester Public Schools Tuesday. Initially, we were going to try to start for a regular start, but then we looked at the latest weather report last night around 6 and saw that with the wind chill that it was going to get below 22, minus 22, so we said we can't have that. School delayed even further for some families waiting at a few bus stops. Superintendent Maureen Benenda says five of Worcester's buses were running up to 25 minutes late from the winter weather. Some of the buses, were, the way they were in the bus yard, were kind of a little stuck in the snowbank for a little bit. So um, it took a little while to, to get them out. The district's bus contractor says they've been preparing the buses by starting them a day early and using a fuel additive to avoid freezing. In a statement, Durham School Services says they experienced delays due to road conditions. Dave Fairbo feels lucky his children didn't have to wait longer for their bus Tuesday morning. He made sure they were bundled up and says standing in the cold for a few minutes is enough. I feel my hands already freezing cold on my toes. I think I just saw the bus come by, so it shouldn't be too much longer. A warm-up on the way will help clean the roads. Moosey says temperatures and the negatives make it difficult for the salt to do its job melting snow. And the salt that is out there, it's going to start being more effective now that the temperature is coming up. The DPW is now focusing their efforts on city catch basins. Moosey says with warm weather and rain coming, they're concerned about flooding. They've been going around throughout the day clearing and dethawing catch basins and advise anyone who has one near their home to make sure it's cleared off. Live in Worcester, Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.